everyone it's Jill here and welcome to my craft today I'm going to be doing my April challenge of Christmas cards and I'm going to be starting with a 5x5 five five card or 13 centimeters if you prefer that and a, a stamp from little Claire a beautiful little stamp called not lot not long now some little polar bears I'm going to be doing some water coloring so I'm going to be using my verse fine ink and uh, let's get started so i'm going to start with some quite thin card today it's a 160 gsm quite a cheap little card i'm just going to stamp my little polar bears really cute little bears these are oops let's do that stamp them down there A little bit of pressure, just give a little tiny bit of time for that ink to transfer as well. And there we go, beautiful little stamp. And then I'm going to be cutting uh, a lot of matting layers on this one. Sorry, I've just got my ink pad. Um, so I'm going to cut that out on a um, little square there, the nested squares. This one's actually nine centimeters. So I've already done that. I'm just run that through my die cutting machine because you don't want to see me do that and i'm going to do this little bit of water coloring so i'm going to use my derwent watercolor pencils and i just want to add a little bit of shading around the edge of the bears so to do that i'm just going to very gently color around the outline of the bear and this little bit here is going to be quite dark this is blue gray by the way number 68 and just very gently go around all the edges now you could do this with pro markers if you like using your pro markers I wanted to use my watercolors today a little bit more shading under there because that's going to be a little bit darker very lightly you don't want anything too dark There we go. And then, because this isn't a watercolour card, I'm going to, sorry, hair there, I'm just going to use a very, very light amount of water. And I won't be using my water brush. As you can see, that's barely noticeable. But when we come to pull it out and you will see what it does just adds that bit of shading and adds a slight almost 3d little element to the little figures right there we go so my brush there and i've got a little bit of water which i'm just going to spray off camera here so i can just get some water onto the brush because, as I said, it's not a watercolour card, I'm just going to take most of that water off so it's more or less a dry brush, almost. I'm just going to go into my colour here and just pull it out. And it's really, really delicate colouring. Just give it a little wiggle. Just to activate the colour. I don't know if you can see that from there, but if I hold it up close, you can see it's just pulling out this colour on the edges. So I'm just going to go around and do all of that. Just wet your brush up again if you need to and just wipe it off. So it's, as I said, it's very almost dry. And there's, it would look really nice in uh, Pro Markers if you've got some of these sort of colours. A bit more water. There we go. You can probably spend a little bit more time than I'm doing. Just try to rush it along because obviously you don't want to see me 
doing this for hours. <laughs> Not that it takes hours, just a few minutes really. There we go, and that's just added that really beautiful, subtle little bit of shading there. Now then, the trees. I've got again my Derwent watercolours. I've got emerald green and mineral green. Just going to colour those up. It's going to be a nice, delicate little card, this one. And then just to shade along the edges, just coming in with this darker colour. They're in the background and they're not too detailed, these little stamps, so um, you don't really need to go to town on it. Maybe tree trunks in Copper Beach. I'll come back to that with my water brush in a minute. And then I'm going in with number 17. Different uh, different pack this, but it had the blue in it that I wanted. So I'm just going to colour a little bit under the trees just to ground them. Again, that is really, really quite delicate. You can see it there. A little bit down the bottom here just to ground the bears. Like so. Right, let's come back in with my water brush again. A little bit more water. Dry brush. You can just quickly go over the trees. Stalks. Clean that off. A little bit more water. Just to fade out these little groundings under the bears and the trees now. I'm a bit too dry. If you've got a watercolour card, you can um, obviously add a lot more water to this. But I was feeling a bit, well, I wouldn't say tight, but I just thought, let's use what we've got. I've missed a little bit of the grey there, the blue-grey. Where are we? Let's come back in like that. There's a little bit of shading there. Maybe a little bit under here. And the water up again. There we go, so that's that. Now then, for the little hats, I've actually got a, sorry I've knocked you again, uh, um, a jelly roll here. And this one's beautiful red colour. Let's come on in with that. Just wanted to add a little bit of sparkle. So when I'm filling this in, rather than just scribble it side to side, I tend to go in little circles and I get a lovely coverage then. And you can see it's coming together now. Really pretty, this little stamp. Little baby bears next. There we go. This little guy here. There we are. Okay. So now I've got it to this stage, I'm going to mat it onto um, a couple of mats here i've got another couple of dies that fit in outside of the one that i'm doing obviously so that everything fits onto my card base and i've cut some background paper 
This is one that I've had for quite a while. I think it came from Hobbycraft. Not really knowing what to do with it. <laughs> so I thought, let's use up some bits and pieces we've got in my kit. And again, this, this gold card. So I'm just going to map these onto each other. And map the little card onto that. So where am I? I've got my little tape runner. And you can use up all your little scraps of card for this because it's a tiny little card. And also when I've done that, I like to put a tiny bit of um, wet glue onto it just to make sure it survives until Christmas. Put that onto that. A bit higher, I think. I just go by eye. And they have little measuring tools and things that you can use. It's the end of that one. Good job I've got another one. <laughs> These little tape runners come from Create and Craft. Handy when you're sort of doing a lot of cards, really. And onto that. So if you're going to batch bait, make um, a bit quicker than trying to peel tape and what have you. And this is just one of these little bottles that you can buy off Amazon or what have you. I just use ordinary PVA, but I do make sure it's slightly watered down a bit. Um, otherwise it won't come out the little nozzle so there we are I've got it onto its base so put my glue away I'm just going to do some finishing touches now so quickie glue pen and I'm coming in onto the little fur here because we're going to do a bit more glitter on that and his little pom pom And little baby bear. Another little baby bear. So ideally you really need to leave this to dry till it goes clear because it does have better sticking qualities if you like. So while that's sort of drying up a bit, I'm just going to do things like the nose and what have you. Come in around here. Again, I'm just using the watercolour pencils. I'm going to use quite limited supplies today. Little eye. And I think I just want to highlight the little claws a minute because they were covered over some of them with a bit of the watercolour. I just want to add a bit more definition to those. So that's those done. And um, we'll have to go with the glitter now, I think. Otherwise, you don't want to sit and watch that dry for ages. <laughs> it will stick, but um, it's better if it's uh, if it's gone white, if you like. There we go. And that will dry clear in a moment. Let's put my glitter away. It's just a, a, just a clear glitter, that one looks nice over coloured bits and pieces and then just to finish this one off as you can see I haven't put a message on it but I've pulled out some of my peel offs those things that we've had for years and years and stuck away in the cupboard and barely use all I need is my craft knife or something pointy and sharp just to peel those off like so and these are very very tiny little words these ones and I think I'll go with Season's Greetings. There we go. Let's put the last word on first. Make sure I don't run out of room. So this is quite a simple make today. Quick make. Which is what we need sometimes. Didn't do too well with that one. Let's try that again. There we are. And that just about finishes that off nicely. So you can 
do all sorts of little backgrounds you can mix and match them let's just move it out of the way and i'll bring in the others for you because as you know i always do four so this one's done with like a red plain red base bit of red gingham paper and some ivy dyes i think that's sue wilson a few little stones things there this one that i've done with green again using up some of my leftover background papers and this particular one i've done i think it's in more, more paper from that i got from the hobby craft um so it's a bit like a craft card that one so just four different looks with the same little stamp i hope you enjoyed that hope that gives you a little bit of inspiration please subscribe happy crafting and i will see you again next time bye for now